For many years, I've been interested in experimental music and have performed um, a lot of works by a huge variety of um, dead and alive composers uh, for some 20 years. And one person in particular I've been interested in is George Machunas, who was one of the founders of what is known as the Fluxus art movement. Um, what drew me to his work was not the spectacle and the visual musical performance theatre results, but the music that is embedded in some of his works. And the works I've concentrated are, on are eight works from 1961 to 1962. And these eight works are all scores, um, hence the title of the, of the album being Musical Scoring Systems. And Machinus very clearly left scores for these works, and they're quite unusual in that they take the form of a, like, a, a kind of a grid, a form, a graph, more of a form that you fill in. So on the left-hand side, you have the sounds to be made, or how you make those sounds. And then at the top, going across with columns, you have the durations of these sounds. And you can fill these in. Anybody can perform these pieces. You don't need any conventional musical skill in order to perform these works. Um, that being said, they're not improvisations. They may involve certain um, improvisatory elements, um, the way you make sounds with a balloon, or with coins, or with paper money, or with your mouth, etc. But he's very clear about the types of sounds and how they are to be made. So for me, these are very clearly musical works. They are works of experimental music in that one does not know the, the, the outcome, the sonic outcome of these pieces. And they're very clearly structured in the sense that they are timed and there are durations. Um, some of the works um, exist in different versions. Uh, there's two versions of the work in memoriam to Adriano Olivetti on the album. And uh, there's one version for ensemble, and there's one version that Machunas left um, specifically for string quartet. And in the instructions to that piece, he um, writes about um, detuning certain fundamental pitches. And he specifies the note C for this, and it's for string quartet. And there are microtonal um, changes to the pitch, which he specifies very clearly in the score. Um, so that's the pieces on the album. I think it's a good idea to concentrate on these works as musical compositions. Um, there are other more theatrical compositions by Machina, such as piano piece number 13, where nails are banged into the piano keyboard. Um, I leave it to musicologists and cultural theoreticians and historians to to analyze and discuss um, music theater and performance art but I'm really very just interested in the sonic result of these works and I think they exist very well as as musical compositions which one can listen to um, of course it may be, as well be very interesting to see these works performed um, and there are elements of humor which perhaps um, you cannot grasp just from a recording. But I, 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 I feel very deeply that they are works of experimental music and, and that is how they can be enjoyed.
Well, Machinus was born in Kaunas in Lithuania, and then um, because of the um, terrible events of the Second World War, his family uh, emigrated to America. And in the 50s, uh, Machinus, he was quite a, a Renaissance man in that he studied architecture um, and he, art history and music. And he also studied, he went to the New School in um, New York City and attended uh, courses on electronic music. And I think they were run by, uh, taught by Richard Maxfield, but I can't remember specifically. But also John Cage taught a class in experimental music at the New School. And uh, members of Cage's classes uh, became very famous as, as artists and composers. People like uh, Lamont Young, um, Dick Higgins, and um, some other people who I'm trying to bring to my mind now, and I can't remember. But anyway, so this, I think, um, Machunas studying electronic music is a pretty much a, a guarantee that this man is interested in sound. Um, so I think it, that is an important context. And then, in the very early 60s, began the first fluxus performances in people's lofts and galleries in downtown New York. Um, but these, these works on the album are from 61 and 62, and this is a very early time in the history of uh, performance art and fluxus. But I very, when making this album, I very clearly wanted to stay away from art and fluxus, and I'm very interested in going towards uh, experimental music, which is the thing I love the most. Um, so I think that's uh, important to to put some kind of context into um, this album. This is Solo for Rich Man.
I think that um, Fluxus was invented in Lithuania. I have a photograph somewhere in one of my books um, about Lithuania, and I think it's from the 1920s, and there was a car in a village, and somebody had uh, covered it in a design which made it look like a fish. And I have this black and white photo. It, it's, it's quite well known, I think. And obviously, the man that owned the car sold fish. But it looks like it was made in the 60s. And I think there are lots of elements in Machunas' work which are quintessentially um, Lithuanian. There's something about his humor and maybe something tragic as well. But I don't think I want to go there. Fluxus is whatever you want it to be. I have no idea what Fluxus is. I've, I've met, um, I have some very good friends who were uh, members of, or participants in Fluxus performances, such as the American composer Philip Corner. Um, he's a very, very long standing friend of mine, and I've performed a lot of his music. Um, but I think uh, these things are for um, books and history. Um, it, Fluxus was something, and it may still be something for some people, but I might as well talk about ac abstract expressionism or other movements in art or conceptualism um, or neo-conceptualism neo or neo-expressionism or anything. Um, it's irrelevant. They're labels. Um, uh, I'm very fond of the idea of Fluxus, and I'm very happy for it to exist or have existed. But for me, what I'm interested in is performance and the act of performing music, um, which is why I made this album. This is Solo for Balloons.
This, this is the album, this is the Machinus album um, with a very beautiful design by Thomas and as you can see it folds out and it makes an even bigger square and then it has color and text and um, you can even perform with the uh, with the with the CD itself. So it's it's a multiple functionary object. Um, I I like the design. My my group is called Apartment House, and as you can see, there is an apartment house on the cover. But also the apartment house, um, I don't know if you can see that, it, it creates the letter M. So um, I think that's rather nice because Machunas was also a wonderful designer um, of multiples and graphics. So there is the, the album. This this album, I think it's a first, it's a premiere album. It's it, These pieces have never been recorded in their entirety. So I think this is quite a unique first, really. And there are eight works on here, and one of them lasts 30 minutes, which is quite substantial. Um, I think there is a resurgence in interest in the younger generation in um, experimental music, performance art. Um, it happens every generation, I think. You know, people um, reassess things. And also today, I mean, young people, they have access to, instant access to culture and history on the internet. You know, they have Uberweb or um, YouTube, and, you know, they can absorb these things very quickly, which is very different from, from when I was younger, when there was no internet, <laughs> and you just had books and catalogues and uh, scores and things like that. But um, I think, I mean, the sounds you hear on this album um, are the sounds I hear now in, in amongst improvisers and sound artists and you know music concrete is still you know people still use the sound you know that is still essentially a totally valid sound whereas in 1961 I don't think in the context of music that would have been seen to be terribly worthwhile except amongst the um, experimental music community, which was tiny then. So I think, uh, I think this is a very important album in terms of uh, reassessing Machuna's work. Good. Thank you, Archie LeBay. Better clear up all the money. One day there will be no money anymore.